guys uh welcome to the vlog today we're going to be painting my gauge covers they're currently gold but i prefer the white look so i'm going to be painting them white but i need to go get some paint first so i'm going to go hit up bunnings Goods, so I'll see you guys back at the house. So as I said, I've got the gold tomb currently. Um, I did that to um, kind of match my wheels. I'm not really feeling it at the moment. I used to have white trim and I kind of prefer that. So I guess I'll just be going back to that. Okay, so to get this out, you've got to just slightly pull up on your shift boot and then it'll pop right out. Unscrew your knob there, throw that away, that comes straight out after you unplug this one. Then you've got two screws here and here. You unscrew those and then you've got two screws in the middle up here. Unscrew those and then you unscrew two screws behind there, there and there. There's supposed to be a bracket there, but for some reason I don't have it. No idea what happened there. So I've kind of made my own dodgy little bracket behind there, as you can see. Just there. And then um, after you unscrew that, it should be all loose. So that's when you unplug your, your gauge and all your stereo stuff. And then you should be good to go. So to remove the trim around the air convent, there's just one screw on the back. Just there. And then you unscrew that and then it should unclip from these clips here. And then after that, you unscrew these four screws here, and then the trim will come apart, and then you set that aside. And to undo the trim around here, you undo all these screws around here, and then the whole shift boot will come out, and then this will probably just be stuck there, so you're just gonna give it a little bit of a pull, and it'll come straight out. To remove the gauges here, you've got a screw there, and a screw there. When you undo those, the gauges themselves will come out, and then after that, you've got a screw down there, two there, and two there. And then that releases the gauges and they all come out individually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So these gauge covers, the little black trim should just be held in by a tiny bit of glue. So if you push hard enough, it should just pop right out. And we're not painting those because they're already black, I'm gonna keep them black. So it should be good to go when I just pop those out, set them aside, and then take just the gauges. Alright, so I've got my gauge covers and my trimmers down here. I've got my 600 grit sandpaper and some soapy water. So now it's time to start sanding it. After sanding is cleaning them up with some wax and grease remover, which I have already done. And then I took them out to my spray booth. So this is my spray boost, bit of scrap wood, nothing fancy, but um, you can see how they look after sanding and now they're ready for paint. So I'm using a Rust-Oleum 2-in-1 paint and primer, so I don't need to prime this or anything, it's good to go straight away. I'm going to start off with a thin first coat, probably 10 minutes between each coat. And just get heavier as you go. I'm probably going to do about maybe oh, four, four-ish coats on this. See how we go. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours since I finished painting them, and uh, here's how they look. Really nicely, I'm happy with them. So now it's time to put all this back together.
Alrighty, so I'm actually really stoked with how those turned out. Um, like, just have a look at this. A very clean look. Like, I don't know why I ever changed from this before, because I prefer this so much more than the gold. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Please subscribe. I try to make videos every weekend. Um, it could be an install video, it could be me just talking about my car, it could be a review of someone else's car. Either way, just um, yeah, please subscribe, it means a lot, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Alright, sweet, see you later.